The Herald of Nurgle has arrived, the man himself, Typhus the Traveler. Today on Conversion Corner, we're going to be going over what I did with my Typhus. Anvil of War! Conversion Corner! Hey guys, so this week on Conversion Corner, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, my Typhus, the Herald of Nurgle model that I kit bashed uh, from a couple different parts. And a lot of people ask me, why didn't you just buy the new Typhus kit? And although it's a beautiful sculpt, like it's some great plastic, Games Workshop has been doing phenomenal things in that realm uh, over the past couple of years. Um, I just really liked the original Typhus sculpt and the way he looked. And there was a lot of components that I could use from some of the newer kits uh, that I saw that I could make my own Typhus and still keep the metal sculpt and the weight uh, that I was used to using when I would play Typhus on the tabletop. Um, so that's kind of what inspired it, but some of the components that I used uh, to make this Typhus happen was obviously I used the original uh, metal Typhus from God knows when. I got them in like a used bin uh, a while back at Multizone. Um, now, I used the original metal Typhus, but I wanted to kind of give him some updates and some, some new looks to kind of make him stand par with the new Typhus who is taller and kind of has some good dynamic posing and stuff that the old Typhus is kind of, he's just kind of hunched over. Like he's not, he's not as dynamic looking as the new Typhus, but I figured we could, we could add some things in to kind of make him look a little bit better. So what I did was I took a banner from, this is from Old Fantasy now. Um, there was a Nurgle banner at some point and it was metal. Uh, I took that banner and I was like, you know what, let's go Samurai Typhus and give him like this cool back banner that gives him the height because I believe the new Typhus sculpt, he's got like the hand outstretched and he's got the flies coming out of his back and what have you. So I needed to kind of try to match that height because not only is my Typhus shorter in terms of his standing height, but with all those added things, it's like I need to have a similar vertical height. And it's actually a really nice little finger grip for when I'm moving him across the table, I can kind of pick him up and uh, it's functional as well as aesthetically pleasing. Now, he did have the flies coming out of his back from the new model, and that's to simulate the Plague Hive that is his shooting attack, and really what Typhus is made of is just a swarm of flies inside a suit of armor. So I had the Gellerpox Infected Kill Team expansion box set, whatever, whatever it was, um, I never played it, and I had these models for a long time, and. I kind of came to the realization that, you know what, I'm not really playing Kill Team. And although this Kill Team had really nice models and I thought it was super cool because it's Nurgle, um, realistically, I'm just not going to be playing these as much as I'm going to be playing my Typhus model. So how about we take those flies from the kit and those those units and instead use them as Typhus's back banner, or not back banner, but his flies coming out of his suit of armor. Now these looked really good because there was two different kinds of flies and I think there was four in that set but these two stood out the most because I could glue them into his kind of stacks coming out of his armor and then use the existing back banner as a place to also glue so that they were supported and wouldn't just immediately snap off. Um, although they do break in the case from time to time. Uh, so the flies, the back banner, that's kind of what gave Typhus his extra height. Um, and then I wanted to upgrade his scythe itself because his Man Reaper is kind of just like a flat blade. It didn't really look like it was rusted or, you know, any kind of like the Nurgle characteristic for a lot of our weapons. So I had an extra scythe laying around from the Death Shroud kits, uh, the new Death Shroud Terminators, and it was as simple as just clipping off Typhus's metal scythe and giving him the textured uh, new scythe that uh, a lot of the new Death Guard kits have with them. So super simple, like that's only like really three components um, to getting Typhus to look kind of a little bit more modern, a little bit newer. And uh, I still get to keep the original sculpt and weight, which I really like. So how I started this was, it's pretty simple. Like with a metal model, I wanted to get that back banner on there. And I didn't want it to just like be sitting with glue and just break off every time I put it in the case. So. What I did was I screwed actually, uh, I drilled a hole in the top of Typhus's battle plate and put that back banner right inside with glue. 
and that just really kind of solidified that back banner and I've never seen it break off or even bend for that matter. Um, so it's a really nice sturdy model as opposed to being metal. Um, now using that sturdy metal back banner and gluing the flies to it, that means they had two points of contact with both his stacks and the banner itself. Um, this was super helpful because it kind of gave him that dynamic shape up top, but at the same time added the stability to the model without having to like, again, put him in the case and all the flies break off because they only had that one point of contact. Um, other than that, the scythe, like I said, it was just a super, super clip, uh, super simple clip is what I meant to say. And uh, just putting the new scythe head on there just gives him that kind of updated look. And uh, it certainly adds some detail to an older sculpt, which is nice. I painted him up in the purple plague scheme. So this is a purple typhus as opposed to his classic green armor. Um, it just suits the theme of my army that I'm going with right these days and everybody's rocking purple armor. So this typhus is like the new typhus of my force. And uh, I still have my old metal typhus or my old green typhus um, at the shelf at home and he's fought many battles. So he's kind of retired for now. I think he's also fine cast. So I'm not like super into carting him around as much as I am the metal one. So if you guys like this video, feel free to like us and comment us down below. Um, if you want to see me kit bash another Death Guard character like Necrosius or one of the others, uh, feel free to maybe recommend which one I want to do next because I'm thinking about doing another one. I really like doing Typhus and, you know, I'm, I'm considering doing another Death Guard character in the future. So if there's something you guys want to see, let me know. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Sponsored by... <laughs>